So my uncle Faustino Kaigoi originally designed the FPAC logo in 1992 and I felt that um, it should still be kept in the um, material for FPAC so I integrated it into the tattoo design and the t tattoo centerpiece within that in that circle I, I included his logo but I, I hand rendered it so it's not um, you know how it was before very um, slick and vectorized um, I actually traced it and, and hand rendered it and so he created this for the first Filipino Festival of Arts and Culture in 1992 and he said it was still going on during the riots but they decided to move forward with it. It was Linda Mabalit, Rosie Lee Hooks, Larry Hironka, and my uncle uh, among um, some other people who you know helped to put this festival together under the direction of um, the Cultural Affairs Department of Los Angeles at the time. And so it happened on Mother's Day um, 1992. So this is um, somewhere, this is, there's an image of a mother holding a child in this logo as well. That's what he told me. In designing some of the, the logo um, and, and some of the, the, the Toloi Pukayo uh, title, I found some of his old lettering. So there's this, and then I saw this one, it's Kali Salibata. And, um, so what I did is I just scanned his original lettering and then just put it in Toloi Pukayo. And um, so that's where, where this came from. And then as far as the tattoo, this is some of the rendering, but then I, I, did, it, I did it digitally. I scanned it and did it digitally, but I consulted with Lane Wilkin. Um, he's an authority or expert on uh, Filipino tattoos. So he... Thank, thankfully blessed this design. You know, each of these symbols mean something, so um, uh, he gave me a couple, a couple symbols to, to put in, because originally when I had the first concept, um, there were some other cultures uh, symbols mixed in with it, like Polynesian or Hawaiian. So he just said, you know, replace some of these and then add the Filipino symbols. So the background that I created for the festival this year was inspired by uh, the Sari Manuk. It's this mythical bird. Uh, came from some uh, Filipino people in uh, Mindanao. Uh, that, that originally came from Mindanao. But so a lot of the brush strokes, they you know they had this kind of um, flying type feel. So I was painting that as well as listening while I was listening to the um, the intro music that was given to me for FPAC, so that had that um, uh, that beautiful that beautiful music. So I, I just kept that on loop and then just, just painted. And I used the primary colors of the Filipino flag, the red, the blue, the yellow, and uh, integrated it into, into the piece. For more information on all of the pieces used in the FPAC branding for this year, please go to philamarts.org and there you'll find um, some of the history and research um, that went into the making of the, the brand. Kamusta? Please take a moment to share and like this video. Subscribe to our Philam Arts channel. Hit the notification button and follow us on our socials on Instagram and Facebook at PhilamArtsLA. Help us by pushing the Philam Arts agenda and advocating for representation for the Philam artist.